cannon again. And everything else! <laughs> Some outside element activated the scrapyard's electrical systems. Grimlock! Wasn't me! You guys are mean! No! Are we under attack? Uh, I don't believe so, but... Huh? Oh, no! I still don't see any sign of attackers. What could have... <gasps> Is it Steeljaw? Trying to destroy the scrapyard again? No. It's... Prime Force One! We apologize if our arrival caused you any disturbance. We recently replaced our damaged cloaking system. We now use an experimental one devised by Ratchet. Its first deployment seems to have yielded mixed results. I'm a medic, not an inventor. Although my triage shield for treating battlefield casualties has been a big success. Jamie! <laughs> Grimlock. Can you not simply wave hello? Windblade! My two favorite track burners. Jazz. Bokeh. All, All right. right. Welcome, Optimus. I have a feeling this isn't a social call by you and your all-star team. Indeed not, my former scout. Are you finally going to tell us why you've been doing all this sneaking around? Why you borrowed Drift? And why you wanted me to meet you here on Earth? Yes. The time has come for all of you to join our mission. The liberation of Cybertron. <gasps> Cybertron? Has it been invaded? No. The threat rose from within. In the wake of our home planet's reconstruction following the war, a new High Council swept into power. They promised to keep weary Cybertron out of interplanetary affairs. Though a statue in my honor was built before the Council took office, they quickly saw to it that I was blamed for the destruction and devastation our people faced. And by association, any bot who stood beside me was also blamed. That's why you weren't treated as a hero and given a prominent position after the war, isn't it, sir? The only work I could find was as a beat cop. We all faced similar situations. None of us protested. We thought it was the will of the people. But you didn't think so. And I have been gathering allies and collecting evidence ever since. The final piece of that evidence came from Drift. I infiltrated the High Council chambers. There, I overheard the Council gloating about discrediting Optimus and his allies, and about their use of mind control on the population. They said they are on the brink of their ultimate goal. And they could enact their plan at any moment. But what is their goal? Multiple Autobot signatures near Crown City. It has begun. Something's begun and what's begun? The Cybertronian invasion of Earth. Our final triumph is in sight. I'm just asking, one more time, does it have to be this way? What I mean is, does it have to be so violent? We swore a pact together, Cyberwarp. Believe me, Cyclonus. I remember, but... You promised to do what was right for Cybertron. And we agreed we were right for Cybertron. I still want what's in the best interests of our planet. 
But you no longer believe our methods serve those interests. I've just never understood why, in order for our kind to succeed, others must suffer. Oh, they don't have to suffer, Cyberwarp. That's just a happy bonus. You're taking too much pleasure in this, Cyclonus. And you're not taking enough. Just play your part, Cyberwarp. This will all be worth it in the end. Autobots invading Earth? But why? Especially when you say the whole planet wanted to stay away from other worlds. I'm still uncertain of the High Council's endgame. But the fact they used mind control to secure the population's support... ...means it's something they know the people wouldn't approve of. The invaders need to be stopped, and we're the team to do it. Autobots, let's rev up and... No. Action must be taken on Cybertron to restore the population. And to expose the Council. My team is too recognizable for the task. You've been robots in disguise on Earth for a long time now. Most of you are only known on Cybertron through stories of your adventures here. I'm definitely recognizable on Cybertron, though. But I don't want my team going without me. You have learned the skill of camouflage from your teammates, just as I taught them, Bumblebee. This should let me blend in. While we deal with the invaders, you will return to Cybertron on Prime Force One. I trust you remember how to fly it, fix it. Without session, deflection, <clears throat> question, Optimus Prime, <laughs> sir. I would offer you the space bridge I used in my last visit to Earth, but it has since failed. The new propulsion system we've thrown together is solid. You should get from here to Cybertron a lot faster than normal. And the cloaking system should allow you to approach the planet undetected. Emphasis on should. Because I'm a medic, not... An inventor, we know. Then let us attend to our tasks. Two worlds need us. Let's rev up and roll out. Didn't dream we'd be in space again this soon. A lot of things have happened recently that we never dreamed of. Battling Steeljaw and his pack after we thought we'd gotten rid of them, learning to combine all five of us into a giant Autobot, taking down a Decepticon combiner on the moon, and now this? Eh, just another Saturday morning for us, right? I don't understand it. I've been running diagnostics on the ship's systems, and they say there's one more energy signature aboard than there should be. A stowaway? Autobots, fan out and- No need, Lieutenant. I come in peace. Steeljaw, grab him! So, okay. Gotcha. I understand your apprehension, Autobots. But believe me when I say I'm not here to hurt you. I bet you're not here to sell us insurance either. You've tricked us before, Steeljaw. You'll forgive us if we play this cautiously. Why are you here? To join in your mission, of course. You see, this time, I'm on your side. A Cybertronian covert action craft. Its cloak would keep it from being detected. That means we're probably dealing with a Cybertronian advance party, not the main invasion force. I remember that building. It's an electronic parts warehouse. No human personnel. Autobots, roll out! Sounds just like wind chimes. I'm gonna make you sound like a- Grimlock, what is on our side supposed to mean, Steeljaw? The last time we faced each other, I heard you mention strange happenings on Cybertron. So afterward, I staked out your little home to learn more. You uh, didn't see me getting that paint touch up, did you? No. But I did hear Optimus Prime inform you of an invasion from our home planet. And you care why? 
When I first came to Earth, I wanted a planet. Any planet to rule as a Decepticon homeworld. But I've come to like this world. And if the High Council conquers Earth, I can't have it. So, a brief alliance. Steeljaw, I trust you about as far as Grimlock can throw you. Actually, that's pretty far. Trust me, you're going to need my help. We've done fine so far without it. Lock him up, tight, and slap a paralytic patch on his voice modulator. I don't want him sweet-talking his way into confusing us. But just let... Has there been any change in their signals? Negative. Holding steady, one mile ahead. Does this place seem weirdly empty to anyone else? Yeah, it looks like this steel mill has been stripped of everything. And recently, too. Not everything. Someone left behind a Cybertronian tablet. There's a list on it of items to be collected. Our mission has taken on even more urgency, my friends. It is clear the Advanced Force intends to build a space bridge receiver. But those maintain huge space bridge portals. Big enough for... An entire invasion force of ships and infantry to pass through. I'm just saying, B. As we get close to Cybertron here, maybe we should reconsider. The mission's gonna call for a lot of sneakiness. And no one's sneakier than Steeljaw. Out of the question! He's a felon! So were my minicoms and I. Grimlock as well. That's totally different! Yeah! We're all so much handsomer than Steeljaw! Okay, enough. Steeljaw stays where he is. Later we can... <laughs> <laughs> What did we hit? It's what hit us, sir. We passed a Cybertronian satellite, and its systems briefly deactivated our cloak. No! No! Drone defenses were alerted. They're the ones attacking us. Jam the drone's communications with Cybertron. We don't want more company. Man the weapons consoles! Our shields are failing! Huh? Oh, uh, oh yes, but I can't work a weapons console and pilot the ship simultaneously. Uh, we need another bot. You have one, you know. Ugh, how did you get out? Child's play. Let me help. Lieutenant, if the ship is destroyed, I am destroyed too. Do you think I want that? Go!
Well, Bumblebee, I hope my performance puts to rest any fears you may have about my intentions. I could have easily crept up behind you when you were engaging the drones, unfurled my claws, and... Yeah, I'm not convinced. Like you said, you could have just been acting out of self-preservation. Aren't we all, Lieutenant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steeljaw. Self-preservation. You understand. Now the decision to launch the invasion here makes sense. With all the Space Bridge activity in the region since Bumblebee and his teammates started their mission, millions of charged Space Bridge particles remain in the air. A Space Bridge receiver will harness those particles to help power the giant portal the High Council needs to teleport their army to Earth. Optimus, I needed that. Ratchet, is that the source of the signal that brought us here? The signals correspond. It's a decoy, and it's attached to something. Bots. Rope. Touchdown. One point five clicks from the High Council Chambers. At least Ratchet's cloaking system managed to let us land without being noticed. All right, team. Double check your weapons and prepare to disembark. You'll never make it. The High Council building's defenses incorporate subsonics. That's why you need me. I've been there and seen these defenses. I can beat them. I too have been to the Council's chambers, and I circumvented the security systems to do it. Yes, I know. Before they sent me back to Earth, the Council told me they'd experienced a recent breach. They've upgraded their defenses. We could chance that we might beat the defense systems, but if we're wrong, we'll lose the element of surprise. We have to bring Steeljaw. He could be lying, sir. There's no choice, Strongarm. We're only gonna get one shot at this. Your High Council knows what is best. That's like Our the 15th security Council. patrol we've seen. The Think they're looking for us? Unlikely. Frequent patrols are simply the norm now on Cybertron. One click to the Council building. Can't get there without crossing the plaza. Time to find out if we're recognizable or not. Optimus' time has passed. The galaxy is ours to shape. Sweet soul is prime. Your High Council knows what is best. Optimus' time has passed. The galaxy is ours to shape. Are we sure this is Cybertron? This is what all of you seem like to me. Blindly following your leaders and never truly free. We choose our leader, Steeljaw. Just usually without being mind-controlled into our choices. Besides, if you ever get your Decepticon utopia, you'll be just another dictator. You'd crush any opposition rather than step aside if your people wanted you to. No loitering, citizens. A Dinobot. I'm gonna run a facial recognition check. Stay where you are. Uh-oh. Stay calm. Don't break cover. Enemies of Cybertron! That's it. Autobots, let's rev up and roll out! Your High Council knows what is best. Optimus' time has passed. The galaxy is ours to shape. Gee, it's great to be home. Your High Council knows what is best. Go online for your chance to win amazing Transformers toys and the latest magazine.